All right, we want to check out what is happening on the plaza right now. We've been telling you about a critical blood shortage right now in western Washington. So we've got the blood mobile parked right outside of Como Plaza to drum up some of those badly needed donations that we need to see. Our Holly Menino is out there right now. Holly, good morning to you. And we should note the need is so great here. What types of blood and blood products are at their lowest levels right now? Good morning to both of you, and we're going to get those answers in just a moment, but there is a critical need for blood right now. Juan Cotto with Bloodworks Northwest is with me on the plaza. Juan, earlier there was a code red for blood. Are you still in that code red? We are still in the code red, and, and that is a code red is for our blood center and also blood centers in the state of Washington. That's four consecutive days of emergency blood supply. So we go ahead and notify our media partners, and thank you so much for allowing us to come and, and share this with you today. It seems like we are needing blood even more than we have in the past. Is that the case and why is that? The, the need for blood is constant and the need for blood is, is maintained throughout the, the, the duration of the year. What it seems like right now is obviously people coming back from vacations, the holiday season, that we just haven't been getting the donors to keep up with the need and the supply. So we know that people in the Pacific, throughout the Pacific Northwest are so supportive of blood donation. When there's an emergency, a train derailment, a shooting, people usually line up around the block and we're just trying to get that message out that this is a constant need for blood and right now is a, a time where they should seriously uh, help us out by making a blood donation. What type of blood do you most desperately need right now? O positive blood and that's the the largest percentage of the American population and also O negative blood. O negative can be used in just about any situation so O negative donors are extremely critical to our need right now. Tell us how easy it is to give blood. That's what we were talking about a little bit earlier off camera. You said it is just so easy. How easy is it? The, the, the biggest fear people have of donating blood is the fear of needles. And it is so easy. It's painless. We have a wonderful staff that treats you so well. It's really, really quick. Right now, you can walk in and get an appointment. And we give you a cookie at the end. So it makes it a lot of fun. You'll have a good experience. And then book another appointment 15 days from now. Yeah, you get a little sweet treat at the end of giving blood. Okay, we've got the blood mobile out here on Como Plaza. Take me through. What's someone going to experience when they walk inside the blood mobile? Well, first of all, we appreciate our media partners and our community for helping us out. So thank you so much for having this blood drive down here at, at Como Plaza. And what they do is they'll come in, they'll check, they'll check in with uh, our staff. They'll do an iron draw with a little a stick in the finger to make sure that your iron is good. They'll check your health uh, statistics, and then you're ready to go. About how long does it take? It should take anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes, depending upon if there's people waiting in, in the van or not. But it's like I said, it's really quick and it's painless. And we have 13 donor centers throughout the uh, the, the Puget Sound region. So if you're if you can't get down here to Como Plaza, please check where you're at. Go to www.bloodworksnorthwest.org and find out a donation center near you. Okay, and the blood mobile here till the end of the day today. So make a stop down at Como Plaza. You get a treat at the end with a cookie, and then you can maybe go over to the needle and do a little sightseeing over at Seattle Center. Stephen, uh, Kelly, back to you. That's a three for one, if you ask me. <laughs> Thank you, Holly. Right? I would say on a on a personal note, yeah. I've had a close family member who was going through cancer treatment, yeah. and all the treatment really wore on her. Um, and you could tell when her energy was really depleting, but when she would get that transfusion, her energy just perked right back and she would feel so much better. Yeah. And so if you think of anyone in your life who might be touched by cancer, let alone any other reason why someone might need need blood, um, it's that kind of thing. It's an everyday type thing that can really be all the difference for someone's health. And that's one of the main reasons why I'm going to be donating out there today mm -hmm. at 1030 this morning. Um, you know, it's been a long time since I donated blood. I haven't haven't done it since I was in college. There was the restrictions that were placed on gay men for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, those restrictions were eased last year, sort of freeing up. Uh, people, more people within the LGBTQ community to donate. So, um, realizing how important it is, um, you know, I've I've had family members and friends who have been in similar situations who uh, have needed that blood. We know how important it is right now. We know how uh, critical it is to get those supplies back up, not just in like emergency type situations, but everyday folks who are just going through some health issues. Um, so, if you are able, please sign up and make an appointment and donate if you can. Okay, get on out there.